What's going on guys? Welcome to the show. We're gonna talk about thirsty sword lesbians. <laughs> How can you hear the title of this uh, great work of art and not laugh a little bit? Now I will say one thing. Okay, uh, I'm glad that it, this is something that Marvel or DC didn't take up. I'm glad this is like an independent thing. Not like something that actually belongs to one of the big two or something like that. So on that regard, I'm happy. Now, if this small group of people want to pander to one of the smallest demographics in the world or the country, go ahead. Now, they talk about go well, go broke is pure bullshit. No, this is going to prove that going woke will make you broke. <laughs> because if you're going to pander to a small demographic of people... You're gonna go broke. That's just the uh, reality of it, because I don't think you guys are in the real world. Now, before we get into this any further, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell. I post episodes every day. Thank you guys for subscribing. Let's get right into it. So it says, there's no such thing as an apolitical game. That's it's not true. This page from Thirsty Sword Lesbian sums up our stance quite nicely. Reminder, if you don't like our politics, don't buy our games. That I can agree with. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Let it go. Okay, it's not made for you. Though we are also allowed to make fun of it. We literally don't want nor need your money. I call bullshit. How will you survive if you, if you don't get, um, get our money? Your company will go broke real quick. If you don't have people buying um, um, thirsty um, hatchet women, like you need the money. The get woke, go broke mantra is bullshite. <laughs> well, you're about to learn the hard way that go woke, go broke does work. Look at Marvel and look at DC, how they've been failing miserably in most of their work. Of course, you're gonna have one or two that might slip through the cracks. Like how, um, what's that crappy book? I Am Not Starfire is now one of them in the top 20, I believe most sold comic books in the country, but it's in the top 20. I think it's like a number 17, while the other 19 are manga. So yeah, one or two or three might slip through, but the rest of the hundreds, and they're failing. No one's buying it, no one's reading it, and no one's gonna wanna uh, play whatever, Lesbian um, shield warriors. I'm just gonna want to deal with this stuff, you know? Okay, so um, to play thirsty sword lesbians, you must support racial liberation, inter intersectional feminism, and queer liberation. Uh, uh, respect transgender people, non binary people, intersex people, and women. Respect racialized people, respect black, indigenous, mixed race people, and other people of color. Respect sex workers, respect disabled people. Who doesn't respect disabled people? If you don't respect disabled people, you're an animal. <laughs> you can all agree with that, right guys? Uh, respect immigrants, respect lesbians and other people with queer sexualities. Respect people experiencing poverty or homelessness. This has so many rules. Like, I, I, I don't want to play. I wanted to play before. I definitely don't want to play now, okay? Uh, respect neo-divergent people. I don't even know what that means. I'm going to look that up when this is over. Such as those on autism, on the autism spectrum. Oh, okay. So, dis disabled? Right? Respect fat people and people of all body types. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Wow, not demand that anyone educate you about their marginalizations. Well, if I can't educate you, how are you going to learn about anything? Like if someone who might be completely unaware of what was going on, which is almost impossible, let's say you don't know. Do so you saying that you can't ask someone to teach them so they become a better person? Uh, that sounds dumb. Yeah, no. If you don't agree, fix your heart before sharing the table with other people. If you do agree, but you're struggling with self-loathing over any aspect of your identity. That's understandable. We're taught to hide, um, taught to hate ourselves in so many ways. Come on in. Let's celebrate the existence, 
and joy of people like us. Oh, it's like the next level of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, hungry lesbian warriors, for sure. Um, and no, I checked out the website because I am apparently blocked on Twitter. I, let me tell you guys, like, no joke. When I saw this article today, I went to his Twitter page, what everyone else does, right? I'm reading through the stuff, and it's hilarious. So what I do was I retweet it. And I put a laugh emoji. Nothing. I, I thought it was funny. Not a big deal. So I retweeted the laugh emoji. I didn't say anything. There was no words involved in my retweet. I retweeted it with the laugh emoji. And when I came back to Twitter, I was blocked. So, yeah. Okay, so this is a page for Thirsty Sword Lesbians. This is their Kickstarter page. So this is what it's all about. Love, swords, and adventure. Thirsty sword lesbians battled the Lady of Chains when her enforcers marched down from the frosty north. They rocket through the stars to safeguard diplomats ending a generation's old conflict. Even when swords are crossed, they seek peace with their opponent and sometimes connect more deeply than anyone expects. What? Is this porn? <laughs> Is this porn? It sounds like porn. It sounds like hentai. Okay. In this book, you find flirting. Oh, you've got to be joking. Flirting. Flirting. Okay. Flirting, sword fighting, and zingers. Huh? An innovative take on power by Apocalypse Game, a uh, family of games. Where's this other one that I saw that was really cringe? Oh, man. Guidance support for run, run, uh, running the game, including how to make appealing adversaries, set tone, pace the game, and structure play. Wow. Oh wait, world building, worksheet for custom scenarios and starting scenario seeds to play with best day of their lives, the consultation festival, gal, paladins, cause it's gotta be women, and sword lesbians of the three, oh, okay, yeah, it's just done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the most wokest things I've ever seen. And this year I've seen a lot of woke crap and this is definitely by far up there with the most woke thing I've ever seen. It's a game that completely isolates themselves away from everyone else. Refuses to take any kind of criticism from anybody. Think about making content or think about making video games or comics or whatever, you have to be open to criticism. If you're not gonna be open to criticism, don't make it. And um, you can't tell people not to buy your stuff. You can't control what they do. Anyone's gonna buy whatever they want to buy. And someone's gonna buy it to make fun of you. And they might do it out of spite because of what you said on your Twitter page. There are some very petty people out there. And what you just did was set them off. Now, if you're gonna buy the game, enjoy it. If you're gonna buy whatever they're selling, enjoy. Um, obviously, this game wasn't meant for people like me, though I'm a black man, so it is what it is. Um, let me know how you, let me know if you guys are gonna buy it. Because uh, this was clearly not made for me, and people who probably listen to my channel won't be buying this either. I mean, if you do, please, by all means, uh, enjoy Thirsty Sword Lesbians. By all means, enjoy it. I, I just can't deal with the game that it gave me an ulcer. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for tuning into the channel. You guys are awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. That way you'll be notified to whenever I post a new episode. I'm your host, Dante. Have a great night. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.